Wednesday. It's card challenge day. I'm so excited. So we have a card challenge today, but um, what was I going to say? Oh my gosh, I've already lost my brain. So card challenge, I'm on color challenge. This week, it's going to be a color card challenge. We are doing the colors Bumblebee, Misty Moonlight, which are two of our new in colors, and then Mossy Meadow. And Mossy Meadow, they consider a neutral color. I know that it's green, but um, yeah, I guess because it's such a dark green, you can't really tell. I don't know why they consider it neutral, but they do. Um, so I have two new in colors, Bumblebee, Misty Meadow, Misty Meadow, Misty Moonlight, and Mossy Meadow. So those are our three new in colors. Um, then, I have, oh, for those of you who don't know me, my name's Christina Reese. This is Creating with Christina, and I come live every Monday, Wednesday, Friday here on my Facebook page, and Wednesday is my card challenge day. So I'm real excited about that. Um, oh, and before we get started on today's challenge, let's find out who won last week. Uh, are you ready? Okay, so um, what I do for those of you who have not entered my card challenge before, when, so there is a post on, and you're, if you're watching this on YouTube, there is a post on my Facebook business page. So that would be facebook.com forward slash creating with Christina. And I always pin the challenge post to the top. So every time you go to creating with Christina, you always see the challenge. And then you can scroll through to see all the other stuff that's on my business page. You have to post a picture of your card on that post or it won't get uh, picked for the winner because what I do is I take the comment picker app and I tell it to choose all of the card comments and it picks one out. And this week it picked out Oh, I got to take all this down, put this up and move it over. It picked Angie, and I want to say Venezuela. I don't know. I know an E on the end of a Spanish word is an A, but I'm not sure how the IA works together. I have German background, not Spanish. But anyways, Angie, congratulations. Angie, I need you to private message me your mailing address. And also, if we are not friends on Facebook, please, um, Ask me to be your friend. I love for all my customers and people who follow me to be uh, pers on my personal profile friends so that um, we can see each other and tag each other on posts. All right, love it, love it. Congratulations again. Okay, so now I have something else I wanna do with you guys, and that is I want to share with you some thank you cards. Now, First of all, I love getting cards in the mail just as much as you guys do. And so I thought how fun it would, because there's a couple of cards in here. I am i don't have a way to thank you. I don't have your email and I don't have your, um, we're not friends on Facebook, so I can't, you know, message you. But anyways, uh, some I do. And Betty, Betty, uh, Betty Hayden, Betty, Betty Hayden, she sent me this beautiful thank you card. And she was thanking me for the stamp set I sent her for spending $50 last month. And that is just a beautiful thank you card. So thank you, Betty. I appreciate that. Betty Hayden. We have lots of Bettys. And here's one from Jeanette Collins. And Jeanette is on my team. She is the sweetest. And she said that I inspire her. And um, she just... She said, congratulations for winning the incentive trip. And that's just a beautiful card. And so um, I just really love that. Thank you, Jeanette. And here is another one from Mary Sansfield. And it's a beautiful thank you card. This was the stamp set that she got, this retired stamp set. Um, and she wrote me a thank you card for that. And then this one just came in the mail from Michelle Townsley. She's on my team also, and she was congratulating me for the incentive trip also. And of course, I would not have the incentive trip if it were not for all of you. The way you earn an incentive trip is through sales and through team members. And I have an amazing team, Reese's Paper Pieces, and I have amazing customers. I love all of you guys and y'all are so awesome. So thank you for those beautiful cards. Okay, let's get on to today's card. I'm gonna pull that over. Let's get that off of there so you can see me. And like I said, we are working with the colors 
Misty Moonlight, Bumblebee, and Mossy Meadow. Look at those pretty colors together. Um, if you don't actually have these exact colors, I, you will need a very dark blue, not, well, navy I guess would work, but a, a, a dark blue, not a bright blue, because remember, we're doing fall. A very dark yellow, kind of a golden yellow, and then a very dark green, okay? So, Misty Moonlight, Bumblebee, and Mossy Meadow. Those are our colors, so excited. Also, I've got a new stamp set. Oh my gosh, I love this stamp set. Where did I put it? Here it is, Welcoming Woods. Have you all seen this one in the catalog? It does all seasons. So you can do green leaves on the tree for summer. You can do snowflakes for winter. You could do colored leaves for fall. And then you can, well, I think, I thought there were some flowers. Um, oh, okay, I know how you do it. You would do a few spring green flower uh, leaves for spring. And then in the summer, you would darken them and put a whole bunch of leaves. So that's how you do summer and uh, spring and summer and then fall you would make colored leaves and then winter you would do the snowflakes and it's got some great sentiments it's got the good luck on your new adventure and hello friends and thank you and celebrate every season brings its own wonder and best wishes okay so that that stamp set but i'm also pulling in this stamp set because i wanted um and a uh, a leaf by itself to put next to my sentiment. So we're using these two stamp sets. I'm using the Bumblebee Base. I am using Mossy Meadow for my layer. And you can see I've already done my sentiment on here. It's heat embossed with white so you can see it better. Um, I kind of got a few of the powder kind of, I didn't, I used my bossing buddy, but I, I guess I, wasn't very careful, but I still think it looks great. So that is our Hello Friend. So that goes there. And then my Misty Moonlight, I cut a piece of our designer series paper right there. And then finally, we're gonna have our white here with our pretty trees. So we've got all that together. Let me run through these comments real quick, make sure I haven't missed any good questions. Okay, Vicki, I answered that question. She said, what if you don't have those colors? Get, get as close as you can. And uh, Debbie Spicer says she loves those colors. All right, and I don't see any other. Okay, all righty. Oh, Janice says she accidentally pressed the angry button. Oh, no, no worries, Janice. Um, I have done that also. It's so frustrating. I'm like, no, I didn't mean to do the angry face. <laughs> okay, here we go. So I already, and I have my stamp set set up in the Stamparatus because this stamp of these woods is so large, you would need the large, actually, that just barely fits. You really need the big, big one that fills up the whole card to fit that on. And a lot of people don't have this big of a block. Um, it's a wise investment to get the Stamparatus when you wanna do large blocks anyways, because you wanna make sure you get all of your surface stamped. All right, we're doing our trees in smoky slate. Okay, so we're just getting a kind of a, a gray, Color there, and we're just going to tap, 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 tap. Make sure you got a good tap, and we're going to and make sure you're. Uh, I have a large piece of white here, so I can just bump it up in the corner. But if you were going to use the exact size of cardstock that I'm going to tell you that I trim it to, um, you'll want to um, tape it down and everything. But anyways, so there we go, and we're just going to press, 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 press. And then we're going to lift up. Oh, gosh, isn't that gorgeous? Look at the detail on that. Isn't that just beautiful? I love it. And like I said, I never know if this is birch trees or aspen trees. Aspen and birch are both white bark like that. Um, I love aspen. When we go to Colorado, I love going up in the mountains during the fall and seeing all the beautiful um, yellow leaves. Okay, so let me put this aside. Um, and do, 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 do. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? Well, maybe it's not too late. I meant to put Misty Moonlight back there. All right, you all pray this does it. I always mess up. I get so excited talking to all of you. And then I forget what I'm doing. Okay, and this is here so that I can go off the edge. All right, here we go. Very, very light. Okay, very light. Hardly any ink. Okay. Okay. 
very, very light. Oh, that works great. Okay, it doesn't mess up the gray at all. Okay, that's enough. I don't want really dark because I'm going to be stamping the yellow flowers on here. Uh, flowers. <laughs> Where is my brain? Yellow leaves. Oh, oh, forgot my trimmer. Just a sec. There we go. <laughs> there we go. All right, okay. Dimensions, dimensions. Here we go. Our dimensions are three and a quarter by three and three quarters. Is that right? Oh my gosh. Ooh. <laughs> I wrote it down. I don't see where I wrote it down. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Here we go. All right, so that, yes, three and three quarters by three and a quarter, yeah. Because I, I made this so it had an eighth of an inch border all around. All right, here we go. So um, we're going to come over here at three and a quarter. Oh, no, sideways is three and a quarter. Okay, this is three and three quarters. Here we go. Yes. I'm sorry, you guys. I'm losing my brain. Here we go. Three and a quarter. Yeah. I just... Three and a quarter, you get all the trees in there. <laughs> okay, now, three and three quarters here. And I want my tops chopped off, so that's easy enough. Okay, so they're all cut off at the top. But the bottom, okay, this is going to be three and three quarters. Okay, we're going to cut some of the bottom off. Not all, because we want some depth. Yeah, so these two, these three trees will be on the bottom. Okay. Yeah, like that. And then I could turn it around and make sure I'm at three and a quarter still. Nope, I'm an eighth of an inch off. There we go. Okay, now I have my trees cut where I want them, and I'm going... Boys and girls, I have gone utterly mad. <laughs> okay, we're just going to go with it. We're just going to go with it. <sighs> Let's get our leaves out. And um, my, my uh, bumblebee, here's my bumblebee. And here are my leaves, okay? And this is a poly um, photopolymer, so I do want a foam mat underneath it so I get good coverage. And... Let's quickly do this. Just get these leaves on here. And you just randomly put them on. Okay. Um, there we go. Oh, isn't that pretty? So, there you go. I made them aspen trees. <laughs> okay. Now let's put our card together. I kind of messed up on measuring the trees, but I think it's still going to look really pretty. All right, so let me get... Oh, and someone asked me why I only put a little bit of the tape down in the corners. This stamp and seal, this this is our, our adhesive. It is so sticky, and so you don't need very much. Back when we used to use the Tombow, um, I used to put a lot of tape on there. Whoops, that kind of... Oops. And you have to be careful that the ribbon doesn't get tangled up, but that's okay. It is a little tricky to use, but once you get used to it, it's real easy. All right, so we have the we have an eighth of an inch of bumblebee showing all the way around. Okay, so this was cut at four by five and a quarter. Very traditional first layer. Everybody, a lot of people just do four by five and a quarter. Um, especially on 12 by 12 designer sheets because you can get three, um, you can get six pieces that way. All right, the next thing is this one. Now, this is cut at four, so I'm cutting this one down right there. So only an eighth, uh, almost a sixteenth of an inch is showing, all right? Uh, however, I cut it wrong on the trees, and so I'm changing it around. <laughs> I'm doing this instead, which actually I like better. I think that really looks much better anyway. So sometimes, that's how creativity works, you guys. Um, sometimes you just make a mistake and then there you go. All 
Okay, I do not know why my tape is misbehaving this morning, but it sure is. All right, now I'm gonna uh, put this center this. Here we go, whoops, come on. All right, get that out of the way. Sometimes I just need to. I'm trying to center it. There we go. Perfect. Now let's get some dimensionals on this. Mistakes make it homemade. Amen to that. Who said that? Maureen. Thank you, Maureen. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Okay, so we've got our pretty. So like I said, this stamp set is called Welcoming uh, Woods, and it you can do all four seasons. Uh, I and if you have like little tiny flowers from another stamp set, that would even be better for the spring. All right. <laughs> How many of you have made an upside down card? <laughs> oh, heavens to Betsy. Okay, well, uh, I'll do <laughs> that later. <laughs> No, no, today, today's not Monday. I'm not quite sure what's going on with my crazy head. Here we go. And now we're just going to put that leaf on there like that. Oh, heavens. Okay. <laughs> I'm quitting. I just, that's it. I hope you loved, I hope you liked this card tutorial today. It was a mess. I have a t-shirt that says, thankful, blessed, and a little bit hot mess. Well, I'm a whole bunch hot mess today, so. <laughs> yep, backwards card. Love it. Um, congratulations again to, um, oh, heavens, I forgot her name already. There it is. Angie. Angie V. Um, and I need you to private message me your address so that I can uh, send your prize to you and also enter the card challenge. But be careful not to make your card upside down. <laughs> and um, what else do I want to say? Oh, celebration ends in eight days. Remember, celebration. Spend 50, get a free gift. Uh, spend 100, get two free gifts or one of their $100 gifts. Plus, if you send, uh, if you spend $100, I'm sending personally, this is just me, I'm sending you a retired bundle if you spend $100 with my host code. My host code, oh yeah, there's my host code. I forgot to put that up there. You have to use that host code or I won't know that you wanted the bundle. And so if you say, well, I spent $100, but I didn't get it. And I look back and I go, oh, you didn't use your host code. I didn't see it. I'm sorry. So be sure. Now, if you put the order in and you forget, you can call me or text me and say, oh my God, I put in the order and I forgot. That's okay. Um, I can fix that. But once I have closed that, that host code and I start sending out the bundles, it is too late. Okay. Wow. You guys are awesome. Okay. See you Friday on Funfold Friday. And let's think and let's hope I'm a little better with <laughs> making my card for you guys. Bye-bye. <laughs>